Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Yeah, this is a very, very different type of video for me to do. Um, like talking, kind of. I never really like just talk on my channel. But yeah, so um, yeah, this is a very different video for me. It's about my weight loss journey. So I'm just gonna talk about a bit about how I lost quite a bit of weight in the last four months. Oh. Oh my god, so bad to say on a, on a weight loss video, but I did just order Chinese. It's my cheat meal. <laughs> By the way, if you want to see a quick video of how I did this look, there is a video on my Instagram. <laughs> that is, I'm going to put my Instagram right there. Okay, so let's get right into it. I basically, when I was at university sometime, wanting to be a bit curvier, you know, Kim Kardashian was like, Cool. everyone wanted a bigger a bigger booty some boobies you know so yeah <laughs> I basically tried to put on weight I was always like naturally quite skinny from that to relationship weight to exam weights when I oh my god when I had exams like I just eat anything I want Christmas I think was when I was about my heaviest so from the first I think it was the 6th of January that I started from the 6th of January to about a couple of days ago, so I think it was the 1st of May, I lost 12 kilos and I'm so much happier, oh my god. I've been one of those people that would sometimes diet and then I diet for like an occasion, like if my birthday was coming up, I'd lose weight for my birthday. If I was going on holiday or something, I'd try and lose weight for my holiday. But what always ends up happening is you always end up putting on more weight. That's what happened with me anyway. Um, I always, I always end up putting on more weight, which is really annoying because like something else would happen or as soon as the like event is done, I'll just be like, oh, I'm relaxing now. Uh, the heaviest I got um, was about 79 kilos. And so 79 kilos and today I am 67 kilos. Yeah, I think what the first thing I have to say, what really helped me and that's not obviously gonna be available for everyone was that I had my mum with me doing it the whole time so like it really helped having like a buddy of some sort yeah that definitely definitely helped the whole thing be a lot easier um because sometimes it's just it's all good Bella but yeah so we basically decided we decided what our goal weights were so mine was to lose 12 kilograms I'm gonna, I didn't, do you know what? I didn't even take any pictures when I was at my heaviest. I was 79 kilos when I started on the 6th of January. And I didn't take a picture of myself. So that's another thing. The second thing that um, we, that I think is really, really important is that you take pictures. You have to take pictures. You have to take progress pictures. You have to see, you know, sometimes, sometimes on the scales it'll, it'll say something but then you see something else or, or you don't I don't know like it's just in the mirror it's just hard to to see the actual weight coming off you do you know what I mean so like unless you unless, like it's hard to, what am I saying oh my god what the hell am I saying yeah take pictures because you'll actually see the progress like you'll see the inches coming up oh, it's so good so yeah so at my heaviest I didn't actually take a picture I was like you know <laughs> I don't want to take a picture. <laughs> so I actually took my first picture, uh, I can't remember when it was, but I'd already lost three, ooh, I'd already lost three kilos at the time I took my first picture. But if you're gonna do this, definitely take a picture from day one. As much as you might not like how the picture looks, you're gonna look amazing in the end, so. And you still look amazing now, I'm sure. <laughs> and I would take a picture throughout my journey at least every week if not a couple times a week obviously with that as well i would say scales like weighing yourself so i obviously have to the way i did it i weighed myself so i weigh myself every i don't know if it's the healthiest because so, some I, I mean it varies because sometimes i'd be like on it and i'd not on it but i'd be like hard on myself and i'd be weighing myself every day and that is definitely not healthy i think you should weigh yourself like two to three times a week Okay, so the next thing I did was was to um, to do with the gym. 
So I was like to my mum, I want to be a gym girl. I want to be one of those girls that like loves the gym. I'm definitely not a gym girl now, but I'm just, I definitely like working out. I love working out. And I wanted to be one of those people that's like, oh my God, I'm so excited for my workout. I'm not always excited for my workouts, but you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the third thing that I think was really important that I did is I have this um, chalkboard wall in my kitchen and I made a section of it where I um, circled at least three times next to every week. And every week I said, I have to go to the gym three times. I have to work out three times. And I would tick it, so I would tick it each week and I'd, I'd, I'd feel like I had to do it. So it basically ma made me feel really accountable. It held me accountable. Sometimes I'd work out two times in the week and the third time I'd be like, oh my God, I don't wanna go, but tomorrow is Sunday. So like I have to fill it before the end of the week. So I would actually get up my arm, get off my, get off my bottom and um, get to the gym. Um, and do the workout and most of the time when I did that I was so happy that I did it. Yeah definitely the third thing is just something to hold you accountable. Just something you can see every day that just reminds you that you know it's a journey. <laughs> I don't know what to say but yeah just something you can see every day that will hold you accountable for it the whole time. So we made sure went to the gym every, um, three times a week and I had to put that around work. So I started going to the gym with my mum at 6.15 in the morning, two, two times a week before work. I'd go two times during the week on a Tuesday and a Wednesday, 6.15 in the morning, my mum and I would be at the gym. And then on a Saturday, I'd usually go to some point during the day or Sunday. That's what I usually, usually did. And also another thing to add, focus. Another thing to add with the chart is as like, rubbish as I thought my workout was, I'd still tick it off. I still went, I still did stuff at the gym. I still went, I still did some sort of workout. So as like, as like, sometimes I'd go to the gym with the intention on a Saturday to be there for an hour and I'd only be there for, I don't know, 25 minutes. I'd be like, oh, I don't feel like I actually worked out properly, but it counts, like it still counts. It still counts that you went, it still counts that like you did something. It's better than you not doing anything, so yeah. The next thing was to do with food. Yeah, I've tried in the past like calorie counting and I just get way too obsessed with it. Yeah, so I decided I wasn't gonna count any calories, but I was just going to eat a lot healthier. So I have like my go-to meals that I know are good, I know are healthy, I know are about, I don't, I don't count the calories to like the exact amount, but I'll sort of do a rough estimate. So I'll sort of do a rough estimate. I'll just sort of say, okay, you know, chicken is around this much and just gauge you know if it is actually healthy um at the start to just help with that i was a bit stricter so i'd have i'd swap some things i would normally eat so um i would have like cauliflower rice instead of um just rice or i would have courgette um but that's just to get me more into like eating loads of vegetables um and then another thing i'd add is that you have to, you have to, you have, to, well, the way I did it, I, I, I love certain vegetables and I, I like to feel, I like to feel when I've had a meal that I've actually eaten. I don't want to feel like I've had a tiny meal and then like, I'm going to be hungry in five minutes. I want to feel like I ate a lot of food. So you got to like trick your brain. Like <laughs> you have to trick your little brain into thinking, oh, that's a massive bowl of pasta. But really it's like a, a, a normal serving of pasta or like a bit less than a normal serving and loads of vegetables and loads of protein um but in my eyes it looks like a big bowl of pasta so i feel like i ate a big bowl of pasta and I, but i don't feel like bloated after or anything like that so yeah that was the other thing i did so i just would eat a lot of vegetables so lots of roughage like put loads of it in my food so that i feel like i've eaten quite a big meal um I'll put up a few like dishes and stuff that I've made. I take some pictures of my food and videos. I keep feeling like I've got lipstick on my tube. I feel like I look like Christmas. <laughs> but yeah, um, so yeah. And then another thing was you have to have the things you like as well. So I, one thing that helped me throughout my diet so much 
was like throughout this whole thing so much was um Kit Kats at the start I was obsessed with Kit Kats and I know Kit Kats like in my rough estimate I know two Kit Kats in like the multi-pack you know you get two fingers of them that's 104 calories boom so like I wasn't like oh it's chocolate oh it's something that's bad for you like no I was like um, that sweet spot between lunch at work and going home, I feel like some sort of snack, I'm gonna have a Kit Kat, and I did. And it's just about having things in moderation. And another thing as well to add to that is when I kind of felt like I had a bad day or like a bad food day where I kind of wasn't exactly sticking to the things I would normally eat while I was doing this healthy kick, um, I wouldn't try and too much to overcompensate it the next day I think what tends to happen is you'll eat something that you feel like you shouldn't have eaten and the next day you feel guilty so you kind of want to just overcompensate for it and I definitely didn't do that I just tried to get back to my normal routine and I found that the easiest way um, and that leads on to my next point um, I would celebrate every victory as small as it was so i would get on the scales one day it would say i don't know 74 kilos and the next day it'll say or okay let me do this again. i'll get on the scales one day and it'll say 74.55 kilos 74.55 kilos and then the next day it will say 74.5 kilos i will be so happy that it's gone even the teeniest bit down i don't care i'm just gonna be so proud of myself that it's gone down even if it's just gone down a little bit even if it's even if the last time it this you know your weight went down way quicker last week than it is this week it doesn't matter <laughs> it doesn't matter it's still that much closer to getting to your goal weight and that's all that matters i think another thing to talk about is cheat meals so uh, or cheat days um i think it's totally up to you but i would normally do um especially at the beginning i would i just did cheap meals till now I only do a cheap meal um, I think now I I yeah I just have one cheap meal one cheap meal a week um, I don't I actually do it every week to like some point in the middle I didn't really care about the cheap meals as much because I felt like my food was just like good so I was like happy but <laughs> I love cooking as well so like I wasn't as fussed in the middle of like the whole process because when I was getting more into it in my head and I was like oh my god I can see the weight coming off I can see in the pictures I'm losing weight I wasn't as fussed about my cheat meals but at the beginning I definitely really really was so excited like the first three four weeks I was so excited for my cheat meals on the Fridays I was like oh my god yay my cheat meal Whoa. and um another thing I did try to do with my cheat meals so this is what worked for me is I would try and have what I wanted but I would try to not completely splurge out. So like, if I normally get at Nando's, uh, the, I don't know, what is it I normally get? The chicken thighs, I think it's the chicken thighs. And I'd normally get like chips and mash. Like I would normally get all the, and probably halloumi as well. That's what I would used to get. But now I would probably go for, if depending, I'd probably still get the chicken thighs or I'd get the actual like chicken, like a quarter chicken. Um, and um, where do I get with it? I mean, you can still get chips, but what I'm saying, what I did, I probably get like the super food, super grain thing with it and like corn on the cob. So I still was having my Nando's, <laughs> but I was just trying to make better choices. Um, and I was trying to do that at the beginning. And the first couple of times it's annoying, but then after a while it just comes naturally. Um, I had to go on a work trip for a couple of weeks to Birmingham and we had to eat out every single day. And I was like, oh my God, this is the scariest thing ever. Cause I was like, good point of my weight loss. I just didn't want to mess it up at all. I did not want to mess it up. I was just excited in the direction I was going in. Um, so we'd go to restaurants every single day and I'd always pick not just the healthiest thing. I'd pick what I wanted, but try and you know make smarter choices with it. So I think just making generally smarter choices when you're in those situations it, it makes you feel better about it as well. It just makes you feel way better that, you, that you've done it. So, yeah. Another thing I did was I bought a pair of jeans that I really, really liked. I think I found them on Depop and they were from ASOS or something. Um, and they were like a waist, I think, 26. 
Um, so yeah, I bought a pair of jeans and I was like, this was, this, I didn't buy it right when I started, probably a month in. Um, I bought the pair of jeans and I was like, okay, I know how I want to look in these jeans. And that was really important for me to say, I know how I want to look in the jeans. And I also obviously want the jeans to fit me. So there were two sides to it, which just makes me feel like your body is just always a work in progress, basically. And as soon as I got them, I put them on. And I was just, to be honest, when I put them on, I was just happy that they did up. I was like, oh my God, they do up. But like my whole stomach was like, Bleh over it um but yeah i was just like i'm just happy that they do up and so i basically as well as my normal progress pictures um i took some pictures of me in the jeans as well <laughs> so yeah i took some pictures of me um in the jeans and i had made sure that every time i sort of hit a milestone in my weight so for example when i went below 75 and then when i went below 70 and then I guess in the 60s that kind of thing so um, I kind of took them whenever I kind of was just having a good day so like when I was having a good day and I felt like I was doing really good in my weight loss I took a picture in the jeans and I compared it to the last picture and it was always better than the last picture so <laughs> I think that's another important thing that I did but I mean it's completely up to you if you have a something that you want to look good and you want to feel good in and you'll be really excited to wear once you actually hit that weight um then that is another really good one to add where i'm at right now i am so happy i'm so much happy i can fit in so many of my clothes again um i'm i'm just generally happier like i can i just i'm so i feel better because i've been work. i'm like love working out now and like i'm still i've still got my my um chalkboard thing holding me accountable every week because I I like I'm enjoying challenging myself and pushing myself and I feel so much healthier I feel way healthier than when I eat before like even before I put on any other way I feel so much healthier now and um, yeah I hope this video has been helpful I don't know if it actually has been but those are the few of the things I've tried I don't want to make the video too long either um, but I can post a few more videos about this if you'd like and go into a bit more detail and different things like what I actually eat and maybe some of the workouts I tried and things like that so um, yeah thank you so so much for watching my video um please like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one <laughs> bye